a way in getting these two wins over the last two nights. Dan Kolka with Mark Zuckerman, who's a little chilly here, needs a quarter zip. You, you on didn't a tell me it was polo weather degree today. Day. Mark, uh, two great games for the Nationals the last two days. A lot of positive things to talk about. If I'm asking you, though, the biggest positive in your mind these last two days, what would that be? You know, as great as the offense has been and, and welcome and something they needed to have, I'm looking at the starting pitching, and I go all the way back to the first game in the series with Josiah Gray, deserved a lot better fate than a one nothing loss. Yeah. So between Gray and Gore and Williams last night, these guys have all given them a chance to win and have all gone deep enough into the game that allows David to use the bullpen the way that he has needed to use it. So uh, to do that in this ballpark, I think is a big deal for them. Let's see if it carries over now as they're facing an Angels. It's a very good lineup, but not at high altitude. So maybe there is some correlation there that, you know, get them through the next series as well. An offensive nugget that I especially like, Mark, and I know that Davey Martinez does as well, is that guys, yes, there's been a lot of power over the last couple days, but guys that did not draw a lot of walks last year, I'm talking about Victor Robles, C.J. Abrams, are taking their walks a lot more now. Uh, C.J. Abrams had five walks all of last year. Victor Robles, I think, had 17. They're taking their free passes, and it's not just getting them on base, but it's setting them up in a lot more hitters counts as well. Right, and you started to see this in spring training some from them. There was more patience. Victor Robles was drawing walks and not striking out in spring training. He said, yeah. okay, maybe that is a sign of something, and he's carried that over into the regular season. For these guys, it's so important, especially if they're going to be at the bottom of the lineup. They cannot be automatic outs. They can't just get into 0-2 counts all the time. So they're laying off the pitches out of the zone, and they're not worried about having to put the bat on the ball. If they don't get anything to hit, they'll take that base. Both of them can steal a base. We haven't seen a lot of that so far this year, but that's only going to help them and the team if you actually have lineup depth, guys at the bottom getting on, and maybe in one or both those cases, they keep doing it. It actually get them to move up in the lineup before this is all said and done. Yeah, especially C.J. Abrams. If he can get on base, you know, consistently, he could easily be a number two hitter for this Nationals team. We'll see how all that shakes out. So, Mark, yesterday we talked about some changes to the lineup and Davey trying to get things started and moving guys around a little bit. He's been doing that in the bullpen as well. And we're seeing Mason Thompson earn his way into some more high leverage opportunities. Yesterday, it was Carl Edwards Jr. that ended up closing the game out. Davey trusts all of these guys, and he's shown through the first bunch of games that he's not sticking to defined roles early on. He wants to get guys shots in different spots. Right, and what you see is a few guys that he wants in specific situations. I think he likes Hunter Harvey as the get-out-of-a-jam guy, yeah. and so that's why sometimes he's in in the fifth or the sixth inning, even though we might think of him as a late-inning guy. He wanted Kyle Finnegan to face the top of their lineup last night, so that's the eighth inning. That's why he was in there. We've seen him go to Thompson. I was a little surprised he didn't give him multiple innings last night. He only threw nine pitches to get through the seventh, but because he wanted Finnegan for those guys in the eighth, and he's trying to protect Mason, who has had injury history, doesn't want to throw too much at him here early on. Now, that then sets you up for a ninth inning with some unconventional figures in there. He was holding on to Carl Edwards as sort of his fail-safe if everything falls apart. Edwards came in. It got a little dicey there but he got the job done, and, and Carl afterwards talking about that's the most adrenaline he's felt in the game since probably he was with the Cubs in oh. 2016 and 17, so it's been a while for him. So the bullpen did enough of a job yesterday to get the Nationals their second straight win and get a starting pitcher a second straight win. You talked about how great the, the starting pitching has been lately, Mark. Now it's on Chad Cool, who's going to get his second start as a National. He knows how to pitch in this yard. He was on the Rockies last year, and we'll hear from him in a little bit. I'll interview him here on Nats Extra Pregame. What does Chad Cool need to do to build off of a good finish to his first start as a National and try and get the Nats three straight wins today? Yeah, the first two innings, not so great. Got into trouble right away, but he finished strong, did not give up a hit over his final uh, three innings. Now, like you said, he's pitched here before with the Rockies all last season. He actually had better home numbers than road numbers last year. Uh, it's a five ERA. It's still not great, but the first half of the year was very good before he was dealing with injuries. I think the plan has got to be the same thing that those guys the last three nights did. Keep the ball down in this ballpark. They showed you can throw breaking balls here if you keep them at the knees or below. You can't have them up at the letters and now hang over the plate. So he's got to get ahead. He's got to stay down in the zone. And I think Dinger might have some ideas as well of uh, how to approach this pitching today. Yeah, Dinger was speeding by us on a motorbike earlier. I think we need to send the cops after him. Mark, thanks for the time as always, and we'll see if the Nats can get their third straight win today. I'm going to go cool down to the press box a little chillier. Yeah, yeah. 